It's like almost 11 p.m. And I just finished watching some of the presidential debate. And I gotta say, I've never been more confused in my life than ever. I don't know anything about politics or anything like that. You could literally see by my eyes that I'm literally about to fall asleep because I have no idea what Kamala or Donald Trump are saying except for Palestine, Israel, Ukraine and Russia and the borders and stuff but other things I don't even understand any of what they're saying and it's just so confusing but yeah I don't know who's gonna win I don't know if I really care who's gonna win I mean, I know we do have to care because our country's kind of going down a bit, but I don't know. But that debate made me tired, confused, and some other feeling I can't get out because I don't know what else. But yeah, enjoy, enjoy today's video. <laughs> oh my god. It's 6.40 in the morning. Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and brush my teeth. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. I have a sandwich in the fridge, but I don't think I'm gonna eat that for the morning. I'm gonna eat that for lunch, but right now, I'm gonna just go ahead and brush my teeth. And yeah, just finished eating, and I'm gonna tell you how to smell good in school. So first, you grab your lotion, it doesn't matter what type of lotion you have, I don't care what type of lotion you have, just grab one of these or any other brand, whatever you like, and some cologne. It doesn't matter what cologne you have, any cologne works for you, the one you like, and anything. So first, the lotion, and you're gonna put some on your hand. Not a lot, but some, like that. Then, you're gonna open your cologne and you're gonna do tiny drops now after you do tiny drops and cologne is there you go ahead and mix it around and you put it all over your arms and your neck that's how you smell good at school also deodorant i did put deodorant off camera but yeah first step deodorant then lotion and uh cologne that's how you smell good in school 101 <laughs> bus stop now it's four minutes away i had to like speed walk because it was 11 minutes and i thought i would miss it but no i'm not missing it it's four minutes away anyways i'll catch the vlog when i'm done with school i've wrapped up as a 10th grader this day was normal once again but the fact is that i took a test i took a baseline test for biology and let's just say it was not good but it was only for practice by the way it was not counted toward our grade it was only for extra credit so i'm happy that it doesn't go towards our grade gym was good but the fact is that gym is our last period on monday wednesday fridays guess what nobody and i mean it nobody's gonna want to try and like do gym last period they didn't want to get sweaty at all i remember ninth grade that even though we didn't have gym last period that they were still going hard because it was before lunch and then eighth grade there was gym last period nobody cared if it was last period they were happy it was last period everyone got sweaty paused but everybody was playing and everything but now it's just like 10th grade is like oh i don't want to do anything i just want to sit down and that is probably gonna put their grade down because our gym teacher said if you have full uniform on shirts sweatpants shorts whatever sneakers and socks 
you're supposed to go ahead and participate in gym. Some of them are not doing nothing. They don't want to get sweaty or anything. So that's just not my fault, it's their fault. So I played basketball today, it was the 3v3. I mean, we didn't go that hard because, uh, hold up, there's an ant. We didn't go that hard because, you know, we're not tryharding. But we didn't get to play that much. We only played for like five minutes. The only like thing that wasted our time was doing five exercises, walking around for like five minutes, and doing push-up for a push-up test. That went horrible. And I mean horrible. That was the fifth day of 10th grade. I'll see you guys with tomorrow's video. Love you, it's Mate Ibrahim. And I'm out. Peace. If you know yesterday's video, I said that I was gonna talk to my counselor and unfortunately, I think during fifth or sixth period, they announced that the counselors, teachers, principal and everything has a meeting. And unfortunately, I couldn't be able to meet him today. Hopefully, hopefully I can meet him tomorrow and talk about why I don't belong in the ninth period class for Tuesday and Thursday.